Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the clockwise dial indicator again with the USB interface cable. So I did an episode uh, last week where I talked about it, shared this, did a little bit of unboxing. Now we're going to get a little bit more practical in this episode. So uh, what we've done is we've connected this up. Uh, I've got it plugged into the laptop over here. If I push it back, you can see it's plugged in over here to the USB port. Uh, you can see the red lights on. I've got it inserted into the top of the dial indicator there. I have the dial indicator on. And then on the screen of the uh, notebook, as you can see, I have notepad up. So basically how this interface cable works is you press this button. And as you can see on notepad, it inserts a reading. So if I press this in and I press this button, as you see, it'll in insert uh, the numbers into Notepad. Now, this will work with Excel, Word, uh, basically anything. What it does is it emulates the keyboard. Uh, so it's a keyboard emulator actually inside here. So whatever can take an input from a keyboard, it can take an input from. Now, this is a little bit interesting on its own, but it gets a little bit more interesting because on the bottom here of this, there's a little jack, a 3.8 millimeter jack. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take over here, I've got um, a mono uh, 3.8 millimeter jack, which I'm going to plug into this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this jumper cable and connect it here. And then what happens if I short the shaft to the tip, as you can start seeing on the screen and also you can see the red light blink on the unit it inputs a number now what could get interesting with this is i could take this and see now i have the red lead connected to the dial indicator and when it makes contact with the metal object it could fire it now the the piece is it's going to fire you upon contact so it's not going to measure it down, but you could have other triggers, uh, metal triggers for this to interface with this port to continually, uh, to continually sort of input numbers on touch or impact or some other type of uh, external force that you could use with this. So, um, you know, this looks pretty handy uh, to be able to use to interface with a whole bunch of general things. Uh, one of the piece that I want, pieces that I want to do is use this to maybe experiment with creating some point clouds or something like that. Um, so I'm also interested what you guys have to say or think. What, what do you guys think this would be good for knowing that this configuration works? Because um, I do want to try one more thing, though. The other piece I wanted to test out, as in the prior video, I mentioned that the uh, USB cable fit into the Centec uh, meter. And so what I wanted to do is try it, and uh, it does not seem to work. So in the Centec, even though it plugs in, it fits, it seems to make an electrical connection uh, and everything. I'm not getting anything on the screen. So if I go back and I plug this back into the um, clockwise, if I get it plugged back in here, and I do it, I start getting a reading again. So this, uh, as it says, is pretty accurate. It only works with the clockwise meter. So uh, if you do have, you know, a Centec or another one that's non-clockwise, the USB cable does not seem to work with it. So I wanted to clear that up. So again, just because it fits in there, it doesn't electrically work with it. So hopefully this uh, helped clear some things up and explains how you can use this setup. I am going to experiment with this on the CR10 with the bed leveling program a bit and I'll do another video on that in the near future. Uh, also hit me up below if you can think of ideas to use this for in CNCing, lasering, whatever, you know, 3D printing. Uh, what kind of applications could you come up with for it, especially with the external trigger ability? I think that's rather interesting. Um, to be able to do that, to take data points and like that. So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. I'll have links to the meter and the cable below. I got stuff set up on the uh, uh, DIY3DTech.com website too. So if you want more information, you can head over there. Again, all the links will be below. And uh, hey, we'll see you. Oh, 
forgot swag shop is up there subscribe over there hit me up in the comments below i almost forgot the script and we'll see you in the next video cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel